Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to The Alien's Vlog. By, by the way, I would like to apologize for not uploading new videos. Uh, I was too busy in the past, but now I just made another tutorial. And it's all about the visibility rules 2, 3, 4, and 5. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss the visibility rules. Number two, Determine if numbers are divisible by 2, 3, 4, and 5. Number 3. Explain the importance of divisibility rules. Before we proceed to our main lesson, let's be reminded that we, you, need to be, you need to be persistent because soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. Again, be persistent because soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. I know that everything today is very hard for you. It's very hard for you to do online class, but I know that you'll be able to survive. Do not give up because soon you will thank yourself. What is the visibility rules? The visibility rules are guidelines that help students understand what numbers can be divided evenly without a remainder. Again, the visibility rules are guidelines that help students understand what numbers can be divided evenly without a remainder. Let's start. Let's identify if numbers are divisible by two. How are we going to know if numbers are divisible by two? Here is the rule. A number is divisible by two if the digit in the ones place is even. A number is divisible by two if the digit in the ones place is even. That means the number ends with zero, two, four, six, and eight. Example, 24, 36, 38, 40, 1,200, 1,368. 24 ends with 4. It is even number. 36, 6 is an even number. 38, 8 is an even number. 40, 0 is an even number. 1,200, 0 is an even number. 8 is an even number. Therefore, all of these numbers are divisible by 2. Let's have a try. Let's practice. Determine if the given numbers are divisible by 2. Number one example. Is it divisible by 2? Yes, because the number ends with 6. 6 is an even number. Another example. 359. Is 359 divisible by 2? It is not. Very good. Because it ends with 9, which is an odd number. Number three. Or letter C. 534. 534 is divisible by 2 because the number ends with 4 and 4 is an even number. Next one, 15,000. 15,000 is divisible by 2 because it ends with 0 and 0 is an even number. Very good. That is the general rule for numbers divisible by 2. Let's proceed to numbers divisible by 3. How are we going to know if numbers are divisible by 3. Here is the rule. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. As simple as that. A number is divisible by 3 if the, if the, sum, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Let's have an example. 231. Let's try to add or find the sum of the digits. 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6. Therefore, 6 divided by 3 is 2. That means 231 is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6 and 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 231 is divisible by 3. Another example, 336. Let's try to add the digits of 336. 3 plus 3 plus 6, that is 12. Then we will be dividing 12 by 3, and the answer is 4. Therefore, 336 is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits, 3 plus 3 plus 6 is 12, is divisible by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. That means 336 is divisible by 3. Another one, 198. Let's try to, to get the sum of the digits. 1 plus 9 plus 8. 
and it's 18. Then 18 divided by 3 is 6. Therefore, 198 is divisible by 3. That means 198 is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 1 plus 9 plus 8 is 18. Then 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Let's practice. Determine if the given numbers are divisible by 3. 255. Is it divisible by 3? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 5, 12. Then 12 divided by 3 is 4. That means 255 is divisible by 3. How about 351? Let's add all the digits. 3 plus 5 plus 1. That is 3 plus 5, 8 plus 1, 9. Divided by 3 is 3. Therefore, 351 is divisible by 3. Another one, 534. Let's add all the digits. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Then 12 divided by 3 is 4. Therefore, 534 is divisible by 3. As simple as that. How about 269? 2 plus 6 is 8. Plus 9, 17. 17 divided by 3, that means 6 point something. That means 269 is not divisible by 3. Have you followed? Very good. Next, numbers divisible by 4. How are we going to know if numbers are divisible by 4? A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. As simple as that. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. Let's have an example. 144. What are the two last digits? Those are 44 or 44. That, therefore, we will be dividing 44 by 4. 44 divided by 4 is 11. We got an exact number. There's no remainder. That means 144 is divisible by 4. Another one, 436. What are the last two digits? 36. Very good. 36, we divide it by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Therefore, 436 is divisible by 4. Another one, 504. 504. The last two digits are 0, 4 or 4. Divided by 4 is 1. There's no remainder. That's why 504 is divisible by 4. That's it for numbers divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. As simple as that. Okay? Let's move on on the last number. Number divisible by, numbers divisible by 5. How are we going to know if numbers are divisible by 5? A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. It's as simple as that. It's very easy. If the, number is, if the number ends with 5 or 0, that means the number is divisible by 5. Let's have an example. 255. The number ends with 5. That means it is divisible by 5. 300. The number ends with 0. That means the number is divisible by 5. 7 to 5, the last digit of 7 to 5 is 5. That means it is divisible by 5. Now let's practice. It's your turn. Determine if the given numbers are divisible by 5. Is 326 divisible by 5? Yes or no? Very good. It is not. No, because 6, because the number ends with 6. Our main rule is a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. Next, 985. 985. Is 985 divisible by 5? Yes, of course, because the number ends with 5. Another one, 1,255. Is this number divisible by 5? Yes, of course, because the number ends in 5. How about 5,200? 5,200 is divisible by 5 because the number ends with 0. Very good. I hope you understood. 
Let's review. A number is divisible by 2 if the given in the ones place is even or if the last digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. If we have example, if it is 15, 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 3 is 2. There is no remainder. Therefore, 15 is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. As simple as that. Last one, a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. Now, question, why is it important for us to understand divisibility rules? Here are some of the reasons. Divisibility rules help us to work out whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. It means there's no remainder. Another one, the rules are shortcuts for finding out whether numbers are exactly divisible without doing division calculations. No need for you to use calculator because the divisibility rules are shortcut in order for you to identify or determine whether numbers are exactly divisible without doing division calculations. That ends our lesson. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Again, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching. This is Sir DL, and God bless you all. Bye.